side of this device is the burning laser aspect of it. And you can see right there, just mm. coursing right through it. Mm. And that capability, again, totally battery powered and portable. And it's, um, is it nearly invisible? I can't it's see. completely invisible. Uh, so that capability to be able to burn through a door, break in, and then dazzle everybody in the room is a really powerful capability. And, and that potential is something that we want to continue to work on. <laughs> Pete Bedar's other future weapon is even more shocking. I'm a little curious, what is this? This is what we call stun strike. Uh, stun strike is sort of that wireless stun gun. It doesn't use wires or darts or anything, it just fires a bolt of lightning. I don't know, man, it kind of looks like a briefcase to me. Man. It's I just a briefcase from the outside, and that keeps our secrets safe, but uh, inside there's a lot of firepower. Oh, hey, that's a wake-up call. This static electrical charge delivers over 200,000 volts, more than enough to knock a man off his feet. If they walk into that, obviously they're going to be stunned, and you hope they don't even walk into it because of the intimidating effect and the natural psyche of lightning. You know, you just hit the word intimidating effect. Yes. I mean, uh, when I first saw it pop off, I, uh, I just wanted to make sure I was at a safe distance. Exactly. For a second, I just wanted to make sure I was at a safe distance. Exactly. I mean, it is impressive. I mean, it looks like something out of Star Wars. So, how would this new generation of weapons be used in the field? Let's rewind the hostage exercise. But this time, John and the SWAT team have the advantage of stun strike and laser technology. The officer wisely positions a stun strike device beside one of the doorways he has to cover, allowing him to concentrate on the other exit. His gun is now fitted with a lightweight dazzling laser. strike zaps the first suspect as he tries to exit the doorway. At the same instant, the officer fires his laser at the other suspect in hostage. Both devices buy the SWAT team vital seconds as they gain control of the situation without any casualties. Why did that work? 